Farmers have been ruffled by an outbreak of bird flu. Over a million chickens have been culled thus far. Now, Gauteng has been the hardest hit with the H7 strain, while the Western Cape was hit with the H5 strain. To date, the loss to the poultry sector amounts to over 200 million rand. Joining us for more on the story is Dr. Michael Modisane from the Agriculture Department. Uh, Dr. Modisane, very good morning to you. Thank you uh, for making time. Could you highlight for us the distinction between these two strains? There's the H7 and the H5. What is the difference between them? Um, as, as you, good morning and um, thank you very much for having me. Um, as you know, um, uh, the avian influenza viruses are typified by pathogenicity. The H5s and the H7s are often the ones that are said to be highly pathogenic. And the other ones, um, uh, H6, H1, and up to H15, are often uh, regarded as the low pathogenic. So the difference between the two H's is that it's the protein that determines um, the virus itself because it's, it also has the neuramidase uh, protein that also typifies an, uh, 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 each virus and also assists us in terms of identifying the viruses themselves. So in this case, we're speaking H5N1 uh, and then H7N6 in this, in, in this outbreak. Now, doctor, we have seen a huge loss as far as chickens being culled and, 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 and chickens, uh, you know, being, being killed literally because of, of this virus. What are the symptoms of uh, the bird flu and what impact does it have on, on poultry? Uh, the most um, obvious uh, clinical sign on the birds that have been affected is... Um, with highly pathogenic avian influenza is deaths. They die in numbers, um, but the signs can um, differ from bit to bit. Uh, there may be some um, respiratory uh, symptoms that are shown uh, difficult breathing, but uh, basically uh, some bits may also show, especially the water bits may show some uh, never signs uh, uh, that is in terms of gait and, and so on. But the most significant um, clinical sign is deaths of, of bits. What impact does the avian flu have on human beings? Because I believe that humans can also be infected uh, by, by the avian flu. Yes, um, it is true. Um, the avian flus can be classified as zoonotic, but uh, it is not all avian inf influencers that can affect human beings. Like in this case, the H7 and the H5 that we have identified, we haven't found any capability at this moment for them to be affecting human beings. but. Uh, if we manipulate these viruses too much um, and we allow them to mutate, we may have them being infective to human beings. So we have to be very careful in as far as how do we handle uh, these viruses. But majority of the time, like in, you have mentioned uh, birds that have been killed, uh, in order to avoid these viruses mutating and becoming zoonotic, we advise that animals or birds that are infected be, be culled. And what about vaccination and available treatment, Doc? There is no um, available uh, treatment at this moment for the avian flu viruses, but for majority of viruses, it is the case. Um, however, uh, we normally 
uh, vaccinate for viruses. But you may know that uh, for the past few years, the rest of the world was not advocating uh, vaccination for avian influenza because of the concern that the virus might uh, persist. Uh, we have always been culling, but recently, around May this year, the World Organization for Animal Health and the rest of the world agreed to go the vaccination route. But at this moment, we do not have a vaccine available for the two H5s and the H7 that we have. So we have to work hand in hand with industry and, and, and uh, the scientists to come up with new uh, vaccine for these viruses. We'll leave it at that for this uh, morning, Doctor. Thank you so much for, for putting us in, in the know as far as uh, poultry is concerned and avian flu. Uh, as we can hear from the, the doctor there, Dr. Uh, Michael, Dr. Michael Modisani, uh, who is the Chief Director for Animal Health at the Department of Agriculture, uh, talking about the millions of, of chickens they've had to be culled and have died from avian flu, both the H5 and the H7 strain.